Where are we? Checking coordinate impact data. We have asked you to give up your family, your childhood, your future. Cortana. I'm sorry. It's the crash. I'm fine. Something was wrong even before we left the dawn. Chief? Really? I'm fine. Cortana. I was put into service eight years ago. Eight years? AIs deteriorate after seven, Chief. Halsey. Chief. We need to find Halsey. Chief, please. She made you. She can fix you. I won't recover from rampancy, Chief. If we can just get back to Earth and find Halsey, she can fix this. Don't make a girl a promise you can't keep. We need to move. Doesn't look hey guys, like welcome back to Halo Cannon. We We're here today to do How Requiem in Halo 4 in the Master Chief Collection. I'm joined by this Why? guy, who I'm calling, we're calling Sam, still need a ride home. and Assassin JV11. Hello. So. <laughs> and then we have, so we start off with our obligatory Chief falling from the sky because, you know, I, honestly to some degree, with, with the exception of Halo 1, pretty much every Chief game, you know, Chief main entry Halo game has had the Chief falling from the sky. And Halo 2 had him jumping out the airlock, and then Halo 3 obviously an actual crash to the planet onto Earth. But yeah. Hey, for a brick, he flies pretty good. I mean, exactly. Imagine Chief is like ODST version too. ODST. See, that's why the you that's know, the real reason why the why the why the uh, ODSTs are jealous of the Chief is because he can he can drop to he the planet. He doesn't want to drop. He doesn't need it. Yeah, hmm. it. So, quick release regs. Palsy about creation of Cortana. Just planting that seed that she could live longer. It doesn't work, but I mean... Yeah, I mean it works, yeah. yeah. I mean, it kind of. I mean, she got like, what, an extra year? Yeah, pretty much. You know, that's something I really wanted to wrap up in Halo 5. Hold the and all that. And then, of course... Oh. Oops. Poor little guy. Here, let me help you along. He disappeared. His body oh, just he did. <laughs> the console still got some power. This thing left a huh? lot of debris. I said this for a frigate, this thing left a lot of debris. Let me put it half, translation. It's for half a frigate, too. <laughs> yeah. Non believers walk the sacred. Oh, that's the funny thing, of course, about the dawn of Halo 4. It's so they do actually, not foul the air. God, I want to say two or three the times the size of the dawn when it was at the, at the, the end of Halo light. 3. The they had to upscale awakening. it for the sake of gameplay. Our reward hey, probably, is hey, maybe Cortana upgraded it with nanobots. It sounds like the covenant. <laughs> no, that is true. It's very true. <laughs> It's the yeah, you know, she, she, she did the work hogs. She changed all the work hogs, all the weapons. There's a crevice we can use armor. to get through the rocks over there. She was there. a very busy AI See the during waypoint her, on your hut. what is it, three years in alone? And then the dynamic message probably could skip that. Die. Is there anything over here in this, uh... Huh? You think, isn't there one over here in this? What yeah, that was the one where they're just talking about how the didac is... They were broadcasting the didac message. Or are you talking about uh, another message? I mean over here in this, like... Like, I thought there might be one over there. here, but there's not. No, there's, there's only the, uh, there's only, uh, oh, yeah. uh, three messages here. There's the cat, there's Falsies, there's the one about the Promethean Awakening, and then there's the one about the Didact. So if we do, were to go through here, there is actually another message, which is, uh, Cortana's, uh, dis distress message. You can actually hear playing. You can hear that in the, uh, like, the vehicle bay up here. What? Covenant. Hello. I don't think so. <laughs> you, you can hear the vehicle. Different. Oh, what? Yeah. I'll try to triangulate its position. You're like all turned around. <laughs> this way. To the light. I promise it's not the light of death. So pretty. Uh, first time ever playing. Walked right off the edge just looking at whatever the hell these things are. 
<sighs> Warthog, still in one anymore. piece. Nice to see your luck is holding out. Oh, don't forget to grab the You know, it doesn't really look stuff. like a cat. Huh? Like, like, I mean, I know Sarge's joke was it looked like a cat, but I mean, it does have these tusks in the front. Well, maybe it's a walrus. Yes, oh, that's a very good point. It could be a walrus. <laughs> you're making, you're making that up. <laughs> so here's the here's the ultimate question now. If the warthog runs on water, why are there gas tanks? I mean, don't those have like I maybe they're water tanks? Like they're they're water. <laughs> that's what people <laughs> say. So maybe it's full thing. of water. I don't know. I mean, maybe he actually but, like is like. Good. I like how they use the uh, Halo 4 War Pocket in anniversary, even though that's... Yeah. Oh, wait, take on, pull over real quick. Pull, pull over real quick when you're I, I want to talk about something. Okay, everybody out real quick. Alright, alright. Okay, man, come here. Where the hell are the six pedals? No, they didn't. I, I noticed this the other day. Are there any pedals in there? There, one, there are two. It's, it's more like a normal car now. It's it, it's a normal car. It, they took no! out our, like signature sticks pedal. <laughs> there's six directions. There's supposed, there's six directions. There's supposed really to be six pedals. Come on, guys. Yeah, get, 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 I mean, come on, three or four, three. Get your shit together. I mean, you know, <laughs> we can't even do six pedals. Actually, I have a question. Um, so in Halo 2, like in the anniversary edition. Uh, upgrade like the visual. Are those basically retcons of like so like the classic designs? Are those just like completely retcon? Or like you can yeah, it can. you can pretty much consider it a retcon. Okay, so I, was, I was wondering about that. Chief, I'm hearing that strange signal again. Stronger this time. Do you think there's so, something to it? Which is in some ways that's kind of nice. Like with Halo 2 anniversary, it says it says, "Hey, this kind of warthog was oh. around." So, there's a little... Hostiles! Is there one left there? Yeah, it was the Pelican, right? One left there. I think you're supposed to be around, like, a little bit more. Like, okay. They did that in one of the, uh... I like, I like the explanations. I really love it when you give that I like that we have the explanations, but sometimes I just kind of wish that we didn't. Like they explained why, um, what, what, what are they? Uh, why uh, Fred and Kelly had Gen 2 Mjolnir in 2552. Wait, they explained that? Wait, what was what their explanation for that? Yeah, um, essentially that, that they were they were testing out components that would later be integrated with Gen 2. So that's why they have Gen 2 of the appearance of Gen 2 armor. The only problem with that is then they, you know, you give Master Chief Mark 6 and it's like, wow, you just kind of shortchanged him, didn't you? You got the short end of the stick. Maybe it was Halsey's request. Maybe she was like, I want him to wear my armor. Well, yeah, but, well, she wasn't at Earth. She wasn't on Earth at the time. She was on her way to, uh, Onyx to tell her. Well, she wouldn't even have been able to make those She's going to have to find where they're landing first. She didn't make Mark 6, right? Was it made by, like, some great situation? I didn't suppose she had a plan for that. Like, I don't even think Paul did anything to do with Mark 6. Anyways. You know what? Hang on. Can we, can we pull Asking over real quick? Let me pull over real quick. Let me, uh, let me just scoot over here by my TV and get out Halsey's journal that I have conveniently right here by my TV. Convenient. I'm not even joking. I've been reading it recently, preparing for this night. That's really good. Do this, my... My journal. I love this journal, because, like, okay, so it'll give me time to talk about Halsey, because I didn't want to talk about her. She's my favorite character, and I really hate when people are like, Halsey is such a horrible, evil human being because she stole children and and made them weird people, and I was like, oh, she did her best, because she wasn't evil. She was just looking out for humanity, because she foresaw the Covenant War. And, here's in the page here, so. Uh, anyway, I know that she has, like, diagrams in the journal all the way up to Mark 7, so... Yeah, she got. She has uh, some ideas about what that would be, but none of that ever came to fruition. I mean, very little of it. Even the Mark Six they have, or sorry, not Mark Six, Mark Seven they have, or in, uh, hello. <laughs> in the uh, what do you call it? In Glasslands, the Kilo Five trilogy, it, it's like it's not the Mark Six that 
uh, all he describes in the journal. The only thing that's too good that came out of uh, the Kilo 5 books is Saren Osman and Margaret Perengoski. Perengoski! Oh, Perengoski pisses me off so much in those books. She's I, I like her. I like her in Ghost of Onyx, but you know, like in Kilo Five, they just turn her into. They try to make a saint out of her, and this is a, you know, a woman who but is. She is a saint. <laughs> she is a terrible, terrible woman. If Halsey is evil, I don't even know what you would call Paragoski. Now, don't get me wrong. I like her as a character. A what? Like, is that the reason why Perengoski hates Halsey? Is it because that they're both evil, but like one's going to be the most evil? In the original Ghost of Onyx, they said, uh, what it was said is that Perengo- that, uh, or that, uh, Halsey had basically crossed Perengoski. What that exactly means is never made entirely clear. But essentially, you know, she kind of pissed, pissed Perengoski off and was able to get away with it because of her, her relationship to, I believe, Admiral Whitcomb. Like she was able, yeah. So she was able to, you know, more or less spit in Perengoski's face. I think that's why Perengoski doesn't like Halsey, because maybe she has like that Sarah Palmer thing, where like she doesn't like people that are smarter than her. I'll run a soft patch <laughs> to it from the suit. Never know what might be. Do you want this? Nah. What take it? Okay. The, the key that unlocks their death. <laughs> oh yes. Yep. Or maybe it's always a key, and when you stick it in people, it unlocks their death. There's that phantom signal. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'm glad we're all Rooster Red versus I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're all Rooster Teeth fans. Like, one yeah. does not simply not play Halo and not watch Red vs. Blue. Uh, I think you know, I found, I found Red vs. Blue like right Simple. after Season 4. Or, like, I right, wonder when they show up. Yeah, like right after Season 4 ended, somewhere in that area. Red vs. Blue got me into Halo. Yeah. Really? There. Yeah, I'm so not surprised. Console and, and, in the back. Yeah, oh, it's been really God. painful this week because. Uh, oh wait, here before we go there, let's see if this will work this time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh right. Maybe we have to do it before you get there. I don't know. You there? Just like that. What does it say? Ah, yes, Guardianship for all living things lies with those whose evolution is most complete. Define. The mantle of responsibility shelters all. Very interesting. So, who else, who else wants to shoot themselves in the Who else wants to shoot somebody for that terrible bit of science? There's no such thing as complete evolution. I missed. Anyway, though. Just kidding, of course. Alright. Do it. It's a localized site cartographer. Hmm. Okay. In service of Forerunner Shield World, designate Requiem. Requiem? At least we know where we are now. Let's see if it can tell us what the Covenant are so interested in. Huh. Did any of you guys else see that? There, there was something at the know. end there. It locked I don't up. think that's a good thing. I'm, I'm sorry, my Nanite created visor was a uh, malfunctioning right I'll put there. them up for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can find some way to get this cartographer oh, back God. online. You know, I, I I actually just recently watched your video about like, like explaining the suit, but I doubt that maybe the nanites were damaged in the one section or something. I don't know. No, I doubt. It just seems really unlikely that he gets scratched in the same place twice. Yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch of explanations. What's it like doing? the most cut. The theory it's I right. personally like is that it is just a result of the is actually a ferroelectric field. Um, but I mean, there's ones that like say, you know, put kind of it in there because, you know, it, kind, it was kind of like, you know, this Partially. part of him, I guess. This type of I can't remember the, system the argument in parallel. for it. We'll have to well, locate like the it idea too. that she couldn't do it because it was like heavily damaged. Like, you know how in Halo 5, um, the beta, how like, they can't like repair? Like, I like the idea that maybe it's like she can't repair that certain section because it was like too heavily damaged or something. Uh, yeah, I can kind of see that. The only problem I have with with such an idea is that like 
everything else about the suit is so heavily Mayday, changed. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. <laughs> yeah. You and SCA like, are Cortana to the finish. I mean, yeah. the other way I used to put it is like, you know, there's only so much material no to work You can't just create from the strength of that signal, material. the infinity has to be close so by. You can just kind of rearrange it. So maybe the that, you know, so maybe she literally could You may be able to use it to track the ship's location. Uh, you can't give the Covenant access to the cartographer. Clear them out. I can do whatever I want. This what? guy's neither than it's All right. That's it. Now quick, to the cartographer. Let's see how this works out. Oh, yeah, everyone thinks so. The cartographer keeps acting like the transmission is coming from everywhere on the planet at once. It doesn't want to triangulate Infinity's signal. Oh wait, I got it. That can't be right. Scan again. We've already passed through one layer of the planet's surface. It's not crazy to think that someone else made it deeper inside than we did. You mean the planet's hollow? Let me see if I can figure out a way to reach these coordinates that doesn't involve us digging a really big hole. There's a terminus on the far side of the complex. We can portal to the planet's core from there. What? I don't know. If we have a shot at getting you back to Infinity, we're taking it. Dun, dun, I just dun. let's get to that terminus and find infinity. I just infinity. now noticed that he has braille. I just, that what? just now noticed that. It, it matched his braille on like his left chest. Not much. Chest. She was supposed I to be now noticed he has braille. The project on was only in prototype when you. Hey, left. you know, sometimes if you're ever riding the chief, you want to make sure you don't fall off. If you know what I mean. Scouts, fortifying the bridge below. Stay sharp. There's like a secret dive club where you jump off the elevator. Like, did it kill you to, like, take the elevator or something? I don't know. Yeah, she'll say, can you, you can't just, like, wait for the elevator or something like that. Yeah. Sorry about that, dude. Kind of didn't really. I was, I was trying to be cool and, like, jump in the air. You know, I remember when the elites were, like, overpowered in the way. Like, Holy one shit. two hits. Now it's like they can hit you two times and you're okay, but I remember like in Halo 2, and it's just like one or two hits here. Even on easy. Yeah. Halo Combat Evolves easy is like Halo 3 medium. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm not even gonna bother doing like Combat Evolves on heroic. I only to be done normal, and that was hard enough. <laughs> You know, I have a problem where I don't, I don't play games. Like, I have a story from when I first played Halo 1 after I played Halo 3. I think, like, I was playing Halo 2 at the same time. So I was all backwards and everything, and like, I started <laughs> noticing that there was Forerunner writing on the wall with the old circle graphs, you know? And I would stop and read them and like, go online and play them. Like, that actually reminds me. You know, so, I'll let you it. It's like... It's a, it was something that was... I think it was revealed in the last year or two. But, like, all these... Like, especially, you know, the, the forerunner symbol for the mantle, the Eld, as we call it. Um, that had, Originally, the only forerunner symbol that was ever designed with meaning, uh, other than the reclaimer... Sorry, like I do. Other than the reclaimer symbol, was the, was the symbology for the, uh, the, the Halo 3 terminal. Everything else, especially like the Elb, was just like, you know, what fans kind of picked up on, and 343 later made fun of. So real, originally this, this, like, this symbol that was seen as all so important was actually just like a meaningless, was utterly meaningless. But fans latched onto it, so three four was like, "Yeah, you know what? Let's say that is that is the case." 
but it's really kind of funny. You can go read Paul Russell's about tweets that. about that. It's just funny to think about. We put all this importance as fans in this one in this one symbol, and it turns out it was all for all this. He was full energy for a shoot to scribble. Okay, so quick question. And yeah. like we're, we're pretty far to okay, the game, right? Or, yeah. A lot, I can barely hear you at the moment. What is oh, it? I, I said we're pretty far from the crash side of the dawn, right? More or less yeah, well, kinda I guess. I mean Depending on crazy. you know where we are in relation to where the dawn came in. The debris, you know, uh, stuff could have been scattered all over the place during the fall. I'm going to bring this box with this. It's my box with this box. Safety. No, you do that. Why is there a saw here? No. Like, is there any play on something? Well, I mean, it's... Let's take It's nanites. <laughs> what do you think all the weapons they do everything? That should be... That should just be a thing in the Halo community from now on. Bottle? Like, nanites. <laughs> you know, like, one guy from, like, Ancient Aliens, like, it says aliens? It's like, nanites. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna have to put that I'm gonna have to put that together. I'm gonna have to make something like that to do. Yeah, I I don't have a stop. Oh god. Hey. Is it also the reason you don't hear in cutscenes you are in the night Just Cortana like, oh, this is Chief's big moment. You guys gotta go into like puddles don't you know? and nights and like we're on the floor. <laughs> <next room. laughs> we're like a terminator from Terminator 2. Oh yeah, we'll flip the metal so we just like blend in with the uh not the forerunner kind of like you. So for Halo 5 is gonna be uh, only like two player clip screen, right? What is it? Yeah, about that. But no a lot of people were mad about it. But I, was, I guess that kinda of just proves that like um split screen is gonna be like uh telephone red. Oh, really? Yeah, I remember people making a huge deal about it. They're like, I want to be able to play for my friend, or three of my friends. You know, it's supposed to be a lot of people who are mad about that on the forums. So I guess that kind of just proves that we're going to be able to play a bunch of friends. Somebody else, the team, and play the co-op. Well, I was thinking if he bro, he would have, you know, like, hey, blue team. We're gonna go rogue now. You guys, we, we've been friends since we were all abducted at the age of six. You, you guys should come with me, and, and we'll be we'll be buddies. It'll be fun. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if they knew. Camera. Hey. Wait, crap! Stop it, Sammy. I can't. I have toggle crush, so I can't really do that. Yeah, me too. See, can, you cr can you like crouch jump there? I can crouch jump. Oops. Okay, there. <laughs> oh no. Well. <laughs> Hello. Oh hey. Look at that. You got through after all. It's it's the nanites. I I nanited under the door. <laughs> nanites. The there you go. I, I chewed through the. What is this room? That, that is, uh, what is this room? Nanite room. <laughs> the giant hard drive for the for the nanite. That's actually what I figured. These are like, these are like hard drives or something. This is like the I mean, it kind of looks like hard drives. The motherboard. Yeah. Room. Down there is the giant lava pit or, or kill ball. That's a, that's a giant kill ball. Yeah, right. I never noticed that. I'm really tempted to jump in there. Just see what happens. Do it. Watch you your, I was gonna say just watch yourself die. Have fun. You got very bright. <laughs> Oh, right. I'm gonna Ow. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Who makes the gun that bounces? That is the dumbest gun Worst gun, gun ever. Of all time. Yeah. Man, Wash is my favorite freebooster. I don't know why. I 
kind of like how he's kind of sarcastic. Wait, I left my wallet down there. <laughs> what if we all jump? I don't. Uh, apparently, it'll come back down. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you survived. <laughs> I did a, I did a back. Okay, well, cool. we learned something new. More you go. Go oh, wait. <laughs> I have the option to boot okay. away. <laughs> Don't you dare. According to the Cathedral, this terminus is just one node of a larger transit grid that spans the entire planet. What? When I tried to access the outlet closest to Infinity's transmissions, the system responded with this. What is it? That's the kicker. It's the forerunner symbol for Reclaimer. Humanity. That's got to be Infinity. Can you get us to those coordinates? Let me try to open a portal. Cortana. I'm picking up unknown energy signatures. Where? This can't be right. Set a waypoint out of the tower. Cortana. How did... Quick! Into the portal! Chief, go! Alright, and that is Requiem for Halo 4. Thank you guys for... Thank you both for joining me for that. That was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah, yeah. that was, that was I a had blast. Super much fun. <laughs> Just remember, guys, nanites. Nanites. We did it. Nanites. Anyway, that's it for this episode of Let's Lore for Halo 4 and Master Chief Collection. Um, and that's it for this episode of, of Halo Cannon. I'll see you Cannonites next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I can express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.